What's good, everybody? Sports Live in ATL here. Slitta. Uh, still enjoying uh, the vacation or staycation, however you want to call it. Uh, like I said, I set up everything out here. I might, I might keep it this way during the summer. That way, it's an extra place to sit as opposed to, you know, just being inside all the time. So I might, you might, might see this a lot. Also, when I throw some parties and stuff like that, people over. I have a little bit uh, more comfortable surrounding. Because trust me, it's pretty comfortable out here. It's almost like having a living room uh, on the carport. Um, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click that uh, subscribe button, the red button. Click the notification bell so you know when all the content uploads. Click the like button. Share it out. Tell everybody about it. Support the channel every way a channel can be supported. And hit me up on Twitter at ATL39. Uh, the Atlanta Hawks, y'all. The Atlanta Hawks clinched a play-in tournament spot for the second straight year. Um, for those who have followed my channel, uh, know exactly how I feel about this. Um, I'm trying to look at the glass half full. I'm trying to look at the silver lining of it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it right now moving forward. Atlanta Hawks are currently the 8th seed. I think we can get as far as the 7th seed. I'm not sure. I think we have to win these final three games. Uh, actually, the final, we got, what, two games? Uh, Friday and Sunday. The final two games, I think Miami has to lose out in order for us to be division champs, which still would be an accomplishment in itself. Uh, doesn't really mean much like it used to, but, you know, anytime you can win a, t a championship or something, it, it means something. Um, but realistically speaking, the Hawks, if they can stay in the eighth spot or the seventh spot, they will guarantee two opportunities to win one game, uh, to move on to the seventh seed or whatever the hell it is in the actual playoffs and face either Boston or Milwaukee, most likely. Now, my thoughts on this are, this has just been an utter disappointment this whole season. The last two years have been uh, disappointing. Just think of it. We went to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2020. These last two years, we have followed up that Eastern Conference Final run where we were just two wins away from the NBA Finals. And Trey Young, stupid self, didn't step on the damn referee's foot in Game 3. The Atlanta Hawks could have beat the Milwaukee Bucks and been in the NBA Finals. So what have we followed that up with the last two years? Two play-in tournament spots. Embarrassing. I, how do I look at the play-in tournament? I said it before. I look at the play-in tournament as a secondary, the wor secondary option. The worst, you're the best of the worst teams that couldn't make the actual playoffs. Now, if we didn't have this tournament, this play-in tournament, um, I think the top eight teams make it in the playoffs. So the Hawks would be the eighth seed right now, and they would play the number one seed if it works the way, if it stayed the way it was. But the NBA wants to make money, so they created this stupid play-in tournament. Now, you might say to yourself, self, hey, the Atlanta, I'm only saying this because the Hawks are in the play-in tournament. Look, the play-in tournament is embarrassing. It's a, it, it might not be embarrassing for the Bulls. It might not be embarrassing for the Wizards. It might not be embarrassing for Toronto, but with, it's embarrassing for me with the expectations that we had after that Eastern Conference final run just a few years ago to follow it up with back-to-back play-in tournaments. Now, we won the play-in tournament last year. Yay, we beat Charlotte, and then we had that nice win on the road. I'm trying to remember who it was against. Cleveland, I believe, uh, to get the honor to get ass-kicked by the Miami Heat in the first round in five games. At least we won one game, thank God. But let's be real. The Hawks aren't doing anything. Now, am I at least happy the fact that we're going to have at least, at least two extra games after the regular season? Yes. Because, you know, anytime you can play meaningful basketball, you know, it means something. And you get into the playoffs, you never know. But are you kidding me? This team can't play defense on a consistent basis. They show flashes of playing defense, which makes me angry. But this team is not built mentally to make a run. If they were built mentally to make a run, they would have come out and against all these bad teams. I mean, we were 1-3 and three against the Charlotte Hornets. We blew a big lead against Houston. We blew a big lead against the Spurs. 
And these are teams that are 20-plus games under 500. You know, let that sink in. Who knows? I mean, just imagine what this team would be like and where we would be if we just beat the bad teams that we've blown. Four games against Charlotte, we lost, I think. Or at least one in three. You win three out of four of those, you're in a better spot. You, you, you don't blow that 20-something point lead against the terrible Spurs team. Against the uh, uh, Houston Rockets. You know, some of these, it's just, I, 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 if I go over it anymore, it's just going to give me a headache. But we all know what this Hawks team is. They're in the middle. They're not good, but they're not bad. But to be relegated to the play-in tournament again is embarrassing. I said I would rather not make it because we all know what's going to happen in the end. We're either going to get embarrassed in the play-in tournament, which would be embarrassing. It's already embarrassing being in it. We would, we, and, then, and then if we manage to escape it, we're going to get embarrassed in the first round. And, and, the, and the funny thing about it is the Hawks have players on the team who can win the play-in tournament, who can win in the first round. I mean, playing, you know, Boston or Milwaukee or maybe, maybe Philly – you know, I like our chances, you know, to, to, to advance better if we play Milwaukee and Philly than I do Boston. You know, you know, but this team is just, the team is talented enough to, to make a run, but they're not mentally tough to make a run. They don't care to play defense consistently. And in the playoffs, you got to play defense every game. Every game. You can't have any let-ups. Well, you can have some, but you can't be as, as in bunches as the, as the Hawks. I mean, the only player on the Hawks that really shows anything more so than not is DeShante Murray. A Kongu has moments, but nobody else cares to play defense. It's all about shooting three balls, you know, and everything. It's just an utter mess, utter disappointment. You know, this, is, this season has been so frustrating because the Hawks aren't bad, but they're not good either. The Hawks can put a week together where they can look unbeatable. You know, that's why they get into the playoffs. You know, it wouldn't surprise me to see them make, make a run. But it also wouldn't surprise me to see them fail. You know, so it's kind of like mixed emotions about this right here. On one hand, I'm glad that they're at least in some meaningful basketball after the regular season. But I'm also disappointed because the Hawks should not even be in this situation. The Hawks should be a fourth or fifth seed. You know, and if we learn how to play defense, it would have been that way. The last two years have just been terrible. You know, like I say, coming out of that Eastern Conference Finals run, I think the egos were inflated. You know, I think they didn't take it serious. It don't matter what coach we have, Lloyd Pierce, Nick McMillan, Quinn Snyder. It's the players, you know, and like I said, you know, I, I believe that Quinn Snyder is just evaluating. Quinn Snyder, Quinn Snyder knows his team ain't doing jack in the playoffs, and if they get lucky, I'll be, it'll be a miracle. I don't see a run like, like we did two years ago. I pretty much see either we're going to get embarrassed in the play-in tournament and lose two games, or we're going to get out of the play-in tournament and get embarrassed in the first round. Do I think we'll get swept if we make the first round? No. I think we're too talented for that. You know, and if you break, you never know. But let's be real. If we play, if we get out of this play-in, we're not beating Boston in the first round. And we're not beating Milwaukee. Although I think we stand a better chance against the Bucks. Hell, we can't even beat the Heat. The Heat have our number so bad right now, it's not even funny. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'll be supporting the Hawks, obviously, in the play-in tournament. We'll see how the schedule works out when I go back to work next week. We'll see how it works out for me to stream a game or two. Um, but, I mean, I'm, if, if, if I seem disappointed, I am. Because this is, I mean, there's nothing to be excited about about being in a play-in tournament unless you're Chicago, who doesn't win anything, or Toronto, who doesn't win anything. If you're the Hawks, after 2021, 20, we expected better. We expected to be contending for an NBA title. We expected to be in the top four, top five seed. Not two straight years of NBA play in tournament. You know, so it's hard for me to be excited about it. You know, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'll be excited if we can make the playoffs. You know, because that's where we should be to, you know, to start in the playoffs. 
Not number eight seed, though, not number seven. But getting into the playoffs is what I expected from this team. So unless we get there, it's like I'm like, like a, we were playing in a tournament that just got created two years ago. You know, so you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We've got a big game against the Sixers tomorrow night. The Hawks actually have a three-game winning streak. When is, when is the last time that happened? I mean, people were excited on Twitter about winning back-to-back. Or winning two in a row, acting like we won some some championship. Winning two games in a row shouldn't be difficult in the NBA. But the Hawks made it that way. But we won three in a row. You know, three impressive wins. I will give the Hawks that. You know, if we can beat the Sixers tomorrow in Atlanta, that would be great. And then we got Boston in, this, in the regular season finale on Sunday. And I think our playing tournament game, the first one, would be either Tuesday or Wednesday. The only solace would be is if we can maintain an eight or seven spot, wherever we're at right here, that we know that the first playing game is not do or die. Which if we, if we win the first playoff game, if we stay where we are, we move on to the playoffs. If we lose the first playing game, we know we at least have one more. So, but I mean, take it for what it's worth, man. It's just all about money and everything. Because um, I know what this team is capable of doing. It, every, the failures of the Hawks the last two years have been mental. They did not want to play defense. They didn't try to play defense. They didn't care to play defense. And there's too much showboating. And and the Hawks believed much more of their hype uh, after the Eastern Conference Finals run than what I thought, than what they really should have. I expected better. I was fooled. You know, but at least we're not as bad as some of these other teams can't even make the play-in tournament. I guess that's the only solace, so. Anyways, y'all, subscribe to the channel. You know all that good stuff. Twitter, at ATL39. Like button. Share it to all your outlets. Support it the way a channel should be supported. And on you know all that good stuff. Um, I might stream the Braves-Padres game tonight because I still don't have my car. I was told I, it might be ready tomorrow. And by the time tomorrow comes, we could have some rainouts in Atlanta because the rain is supposed to be heavy all weekend. So you know, this Padres-Braves series might not uh, be completed and everything. We might go to get the game in the night because there's not a lot of rain in the forecast tonight. So this might be the first, this might be the last Braves game for a couple days. <laughs> Real talk. So uh, we'll see. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for the support on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Woo!